Hundred Years War. Britain and France had fought out. For a legendary commander? How dare you? I'm the best at CG cities. I'll attack your... Join the bark at the beginning. She's only good at gathering. Useless. Who do you know? I can farm and kick butt in group battles. Your kingdom will suck without me. Nina Moto. More like Money Moto. Way too expensive. Come on, man. All I need is a dollar. And let me tell you, I'm worth every penny spent. With these heroes, Scipio and Caesar in the lead, you get 20% towards defense and attack. And you can also assemble an art. Sun Tzu, the creator of the art of war. Guan Yu, the god of war. Minamoto Yoshitsu, the Japanese saint of war. And many other famous Asian generals. They can then lead these brave Eastern armies that excel in formation tactics to Bhutan Asian civilization. I'm so jealous. This repeatedly gave them the upper hand in the hundred organ strand. They're in the kingdom. Their own kingdom inside of Europe. And by the kingdom, their attack going makes them the top choice among all cavalry forces. Julius Caesar, damage deal to enemy can be increased by 30%. With both attack and defense. Here in Rise of Kingdoms, who was sympathetic to the frailty just so we could protect us. So they attacked him and wiped his power. Thanks to his good reputation, after his defeat, he was in control of the Insum within the game to new heights. This is just one man's persistence. This is Rise of Kingdoms. Choose from 12 different civilizations. The English long thousand troops on the battle horse and destroy solid arms. He gives infantry a bonus of 15% attack and 50%. Back seat. No back seat. Okay? Two, three, two, one. Oh! Yes! Ah! Yes! Samurai, I head over three. Brave and resourceful. It was to France's gathering bonus. I switched to German. I switched again to Vikings. With a 15% station. Exclusive. I just feel to my Yeah, the Iran civilization has a 5% cavalry job. My Thank you.